Greetings folks, it's Skiz Fernando. Welcome back to another edition of Pan Asian. And you know, I was out to dinner recently and I happened to order some Korean fried chicken. And I took one bite into it and I was like, wow, this is some really good fried chicken. It's crispy and crunchy on the outside, moist on the inside. And they serve it with this incredible spicy sauce. So I thought to myself, let me recreate this recipe at home. And after a quick search on the internet, I found a recipe for Korean fried chicken wings on a popular food site called Serious Eats. So that's what we're gonna make today on Pan Asian. It's a simple dish, it's quick, it's easy, and not too many ingredients. So without further delay, I'm gonna show you how to make this dish in your very own kitchen. You ready? Follow me. To make this dish, you're gonna need four teaspoons of kosher salt, three quarters of a cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking powder, two pounds of chicken wings, which is about 12 whole wings, two quarts of peanut oil or vegetable shortening, half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of cold water, half a cup of vodka, and for the sweet and spicy chili sauce, you will need a quarter cup of gochujang, which is a Korean fermented chili paste. You can get it at any Korean store. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. Three tablespoons of dark brown sugar. Three medium cloves of garlic, minced one teaspoon of grated fresh ginger, and finally, one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. All right, now the first thing you're gonna do is to combine two teaspoons of kosher salt, quarter cup of cornstarch, and half teaspoon of baking soda in a bowl and you just want to kind of whisk that together. Just like that. Okay, next, you're gonna take each chicken wing and completely coat it in this. And then dust it off and put it on a wire rack. like this. Make sure every surface of the chicken is coated. All right, we can set this chicken aside for about 30 minutes and we'll work on the chili paste. I'm going to add the gochujang, which remember is that fermented Korean chili paste. It's pretty thick. To that, I'm going to add the soy sauce, the rice wine vinegar, sugar, the garlic, make sure you get all of it, the ginger, and finally the sesame oil. I'm just gonna give this a good mix to make sure all these ingredients are combined.
and really give it a good mix. <clears throat> you want to make sure that sugar dissolves too. And if you need, you can add a little water. And there's our sweet and spicy chili paste. And now we're ready to fry these bad boys. Now for frying, you can either use a Dutch oven on the stove top, or if you've got one of these, like me, you can just use that. This is a little fry daddy. And I'm just going to take my oil, and fill it up to the fill line. And then I'm just going to plug this in so the oil can heat. And you want to get the temperature up to about 350 degrees on this. And now we can finish making the batter for the chicken. All right, I've got another bowl here to which I'm going to add the cornstarch, half a teaspoon of the baking soda, flour, and the salt. And I'm just going to whisk this together like so. And I'm also going to add my cold water and my vodka half a cup of each. And give this a good whisk. The mixture should be the consistency of thin paint. Okay, so. If you need to add more water, do it. I think my batter is looking all right. And just make sure all the, you get all the clumps out. Like so. And now we're just going to add the chicken pieces and just make sure they're all fully covered with this batter. Make sure that you work, work it in so every little surface is covered. Now, as you can see, I've set up a little fry station here. The good thing about these fry daddies is they heat the oil to exactly the perfect temperature for frying, which is 350 degrees. Putting my battered chicken right next to the fry daddy. I'm going to shake off any excess. I'm just going to dump that into the oil. And you don't want to fry too many things at once. So I'm just going to do three, maybe three at a time. Shake off the excess. So, and these are pretty big wings, so they're probably going to take about eight minutes to cook. And when they're done, they're going to have a nice 
golden brown color like this. And you can just drain them and put them right onto a plate with a, it's been lined with paper towels. Like that, look at that. And when you fry anything, don't forget to salt it as soon as it comes out of the deep fryer. And there you have it, folks. That is Korean fried chicken here on Pan Asian. And one thing I love about that fry daddy is that uh, you can save the oil for another time. So you don't have to waste it. And I'm gonna go right in for my wing here with a little sauce. You can either baste the wings in the sauce, or you can have the sauce on the side like I have it here. Wow. Incredibly crispy on the outside, but on the inside it is so tender and moist. Mm. And that sauce has got a bite. It's also got so much flavor. There's the sweet, the spicy, savory. And I don't know how these wings got to be so crunchy. Listen. But so incredibly moist on the inside. It's got something to do with the cornstarch and the baking powder. And of course the vodka, which was a strange ingredient. But you can't even taste it in this. And I'm sure if you've had Korean fried chicken, you know what I'm talking about. This is some good stuff. So there you have it, folks. My name is Skiz Fernando, and I will see you next time on Pan Asian.